In the high-stakes world of the NHL draft, the spotlight often shines brightest on the first-round picks. Those young, promising talents expected to become the next generation of hockey superstars. But lurking in the shadows of these high-profile selections are the late-round gems, players picked in the final round who, against all odds, rise to defy expectations and make their mark in the NHL. From the depths of the draft board, these unsung heroes emerge, proving that talent can be found in the most unexpected places. In this video, we'll explore some of the most remarkable late round draft picks in NHL history, athletes who turned modest expectations into storied careers. Let's get started. 6. 1999, Henrik Zetterberg. Round 7, 2010th overall, Detroit Red Wings. Opening our list, we have Henrik Zetterberg. The Sedin brothers from Vancouver were the standout forward from the 1999 draft, going second and third overall that year. Among the draftees, Henrik Zetterberg remarkably sits third in career points, despite being selected in the seventh round, 209 spots after Patrick Steffen was picked first overall. Accumulating 960 points with 337 goals and 623 assists in 1,082 games, Zetterberg wasn't initially a standout player in his native Sweden. However, scout Hawken Anderson saw potential, convincing the Detroit Red Wings to take a late round chance on him, a decision that paid dividends. Zetterberg and Pavel Datsuk became a core pillar of one of the NHL's most successful organizations. In the 2002-03 NHL season, he made a striking debut as a rookie, finishing second in the Calder Memorial Trophy voting, just behind Barrett Jackman, who took first place. This trophy is awarded to the league's top rookie. A key player for Detroit, Zetterberg's leadership and performance were pivotal in the 2008 Stanley Cup win, a campaign that also saw him awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy as the most valuable player of the playoffs. Notably, he holds a Red Wings record for registering at least one point in 17 consecutive games to start a season. Beyond the NHL, Zetterberg's international career is equally illustrious. In 2006, he won gold medals in the Ice Hockey World Championships and the Winter Olympics, making him a member of the exclusive Triple Gold Club, an honor bestowed upon those who have won world championships and Olympic gold medal in a Stanley Cup. This feat was part of a historic achievement, as Zetterberg was part of the first team to win both tournaments in the same year. In recognition of his stellar career, Zetterberg was inducted into the IIHF Hall of Fame in 2023. 5. 1984, Brett Hull, Round 6, 117 overall, Calgary Flames. Emerging from a distinguished hockey lineage, Brett Hull defied expectations to become one of the sport's greatest snipers. Despite his hockey roots and impressive junior numbers, Hull was overlooked by many teams due to concerns about his conditioning and commitment. However, after a standout 1983-84 season, he caught the attention of the Calgary Flames who selected him 117th overall, a decision that would prove to be one of the greatest steals in draft history. Throughout his remarkable 19-season NHL career, Hull cemented his reputation as one of the game's most efficient scorers. He amassed a staggering 741 goals and 650 assists across 1,269 games, showcasing a rare and consistent ability to find the back of the net. Hull's remarkable five consecutive NHL seasons of 50-plus goals set him apart as an elite goal scorer and his 86 goals in the 1990-91 season remain the third highest single season total, trailing only Wayne Gretzky's iconic tallies of 92, 1981-82, and 87, 1983-84. But Hull's impact on the game extended beyond his scoring prowess. He was a two-time Stanley Cup champion, a testament to his contributions as a team player and an individual talent. His efforts were recognized with numerous individual accolades, including a Hart Trophy as the league's most valuable player, and a Lester B. Pearson Award, now known as the Ted Lindsay Award, given to the most outstanding player as voted on by his peers. In 2009, Hull's extraordinary career was immortalized with his induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame. This honor held special significance as it meant that he and his father, the legendary Bobby Hull, became the first father-son duo to be enshrined in the Hall, an enduring symbol of the family's profound impact on hockey. 4. 1984 Luke Robitaille, Round 9, 171, Los Angeles Kings 
In the 1984 NHL entry draft, the Los Angeles Kings took a chance on 171st overall on Luke Robitaille, a player with remarkable offensive talent but perceived skating weaknesses. Robitaille's time with the Hall Olympiques of the QMJHL dispelled doubts as he amassed an astonishing 191 points in the 1985-86 season and was named the CHL Player of the Year. Robitaille's NHL transition was sensational. In his rookie year with the Kings, he scored 45 goals and added 39 assists, earning the Calder Trophy as NHL's Rookie of the Year. He maintained elite goal-scoring form, surpassing the 40-goal mark in his first eight seasons with the Kings, including three seasons with 50-plus goals. Robitaille concluded his career with 1,394 points in 1,431 games, an exceptional feat for a late draft pick. His journey from a 171st overall pick to a 1,000-point club member is a testament to his determination and skill. On the international stage, Robitaille won two gold medals with Team Canada, the World Cup of Hockey in 1991 in Canada, and the World Championship in 1994 in Italy. These victories solidified his status as one of the game's greats. In 2002, with the Detroit Red Wings, he won the Stanley Cup, a pinnacle in a career laden with triumphs. In 2006, Robitaille retired with the highest scoring left wing in NHL history, a striking legacy for a player once doubted for his skating. Do you know who at the moment is in the first position? Let us know in the comments section. In 2009, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, securing his place as one of hockey's all-time greats. 3. 1982, Doug Gilmore, Round 7, 134 overall, St. Louis. Standing at just 5 feet 7 inches during his junior career, Doug Gilmore was easy to overlook. But the St. Louis Blues saw potential, selecting him 134th overall in the 1982 NHL entry draft. Gilmore responded with determination, returning to the Cornwall Royals of the OHL and racking up an incredible 177 points, earning the league's leading scorer and most outstanding player titles. Gilmore's 20-season NHL career saw him amass 1,414 points in 1,474 games, placing him among the league's all-time greats. In 1989, with the Calgary Flames, he won the Stanley Cup and later earned the Frank J. Selke Trophy, acknowledging his defensive prowess. Known as the Killer, Gilmore's nickname reflected his relentless and punishing style of play, challenging the notion that size is paramount in the NHL. He became a symbol of the potential of heart and determination in professional sports. His storied career secured his place in the Hockey Hall of Fame, and his legacy was further cemented when the Toronto Maple Leafs retired his number 93 jersey. 2. 1998, Pavel Datsuk, round 6, 171 overall, Detroit Red Wings. In the 1998 NHL entry draft, a diamond in the rough was discovered in the sixth round, 171st overall by the Detroit Red Wings. Pavel Datsuk, a young player from Russia who would ascend to the franchise's cornerstone. Unbeknownst to the hockey world at the time, this late round selection would later be known as the Magic Man, captivating fans in Detroit and beyond with his exceptional talent. Dotsuk's 14 season NHL career spent entirely with the Red Wings was marked by a rare blend of skill and sportsmanship. Integral to Detroit's triumphs, he was instrumental in securing two Stanley Cups for the team. His exceptional two-way play earned him three Frank J. Selke trophies, cementing his status as one of the premier defensive forwards in the game. Additionally, Datsuk's respectful on-ice demeanor led to his four Lady Bing Memorial trophies, an unparalleled feat for a non-North American player. In his NHL tenure, Datsuk amassed 918 points in 953 regular season games, an astounding tally, particularly for a player celebrated as much for his defense as his offense. In the crucible of the playoffs, he added 113 points, affirming his capacity to excel under pressure. 1. Dominic Hasek, 10th round, 199th overall, 1983 Chicago Blackhawks. Finally, we have one player's selection that was historic. In 1983, amidst the complexities of the Cold War, the Chicago Blackhawks made a historic move, selecting Czech goaltender Dominik Hasek 199th overall as the 17th goalie in that draft. 
This decision proved visionary as Hoshik crafted a legendary 16th season NHL career. Known as the Dominator, Hoshik's acrobatic goaltending earned him six Vezina trophies and two Hart trophies, a rare achievement for a goalie, highlighting his immense value to his team. In 1988, Hoshik's brilliance shone internationally when he led the Czech national team to its first and only Olympic gold in men's ice hockey, solidifying the standing of European goaltenders in a North American dominated league. Adding to his storied career, Hoshik won two Stanley Cups with the Detroit Red Wings. In 2014, in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the sport, Hoshik was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, capping a journey from a late round draft pick during a politically tense era to an enduring icon of the hockey world. Who will be the next late round selection to captivate the hockey world and carve out a legendary career? Please let us know in the comments section. Remember to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and until the next one, keep the other videos from Icy Puck playing.